Hello, my name is Jemmy, and today I am going to be um, giving you a brief overview on uh, image classification. Yesterday, uh, I mean today in this video, is a new series, a, bit, a start of video to a new series, which is um, called Day... This is day one as AI Builder student, and it will uh, develop over time. And yesterday I had a meeting with my mentors. Uh, thank you to P. Sharin, P. Joy, and Lung Wisa Wak Um, Yeah, those were my mentors for yesterday's meeting. And yeah, it was really fun yesterday. And um, uh, they told me to go research my project. So I was, I found this guy called, um, let me see what his name was, Deep Learning by PhD Scholar. And um, he, has a very simple video on uh, image classification for beginners in Python and Tensor with TensorFlow. So that was what I uh, that's what I w went into, and I learned how to do it. So now I'm going to show you the code, and um, yeah. Okay, so let's go. So here I'm in Gather Town. Actually, let me give you a tour. So um, this is the main stadium. Okay. And then this is like a podium where you can speak. Um, and basically, there's a lot more people yesterday, but today it's just me right now. So you could speak in this podium, and there's a small little lectern over here below the stage. And I sat over here, like like that. And then you can dance by pressing, by pressing Z. It's really, it's, it's, yeah. And if, if um, like, there's a lot of people, you can press G, and then you basically turn to a ghost, and the collision is turned off if you press G. So, yeah, that is the tour. Um, there's different classrooms. There's different classrooms, like uh, classroom A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I, I had the meeting in classroom G. But this one, I sat over here. Uh... No, I can't sit anymore. Like right there, yeah. So yeah, that is the tour for um, Gather Town. Now I'm going to show you the code. So over here we have a simplified version of um, Deep Learning by PhD Scholars code. Uh, and so this is basically um, up here is to import the Tensor TensorFlow. NumPy and PIL, which is Pillow. Um, you might need a PIP install first before you actually do this. Then after here, we import a uh, matplot, lib.pyplot. And um, after that, this is our importations. And after that, we have our image. So uh, in your folder, let me see this. In your folder in here, there is, you should go into your, um, this PC, double click on Acer, go down to uh, users. No, not users. Uh, you just put it in, I think. Yeah, in here, you just go into Acer and then put in uh, a file called AI. And in that file, you um, put in a folder called image data and you import your images into here. After that, what you do is you go and download Anaconda what you do now is you open Anaconda prompt, not CMD, but Anaconda prompt. And um, what you do is you, if you don't have it, then you PIP install TensorFlow. But if you do have TensorFlow already, so what you do is you would do CD and then you would move to your AI, CD AI, and there we go. Now, since you have that, what you would do is you would go and type Jupyter note to book like so and then it will if you press enter it will open jupyter notebook for you but since i already have jupyter notebook i'm just going to use this one so here is uh my f image as i said put it in your uh image data folder um your uh pictures and then you do im which is image equal to image dot open file name this is to download the image and actually use it m.m resize it will basically resize your image to 224 pixels by 224 pixels and after this it will show the image and this is the image pikachu uh 
and this is going to um basically being the prediction it's i'm just gonna say that it's accurate on some parts and some part it's not that accurate so we're using a pre-trained model called mobile um, version 2 and mobile net version 2 and we're going to import tensorflow.keras and then pre-processing import image and basically all this junky stuff not junky but complicated stuff is basically um uh predicting what the image is i don't understand all of them uh right now but uh it's basically some formula in order to predict using the pre-trained model so now let's try it out on pikachu this is a different image by the way um so if we run this control ch shift enter by the way um it would no oh, safety pin envelope hook chain comic book yes it's pikachu and there's no pikachu so as you can see some images it is not too clear on what if we do image um two right so let's see this it's going to be a cat now let's see mm -hmm. wall clock water jug shield packet picture so it's not accurate on cartoons right i mean clearly this is not a water jug or a shield but what if we try a kind of realistic picture like this okay let's see this oh tensorflow out of elastic cells da, da, da. um okay let's see Let's see. Um, so it's actually nothing. Um, this error. We could just look down here. So here we have uh the predictions. It's a tiger cat. Kind of, I guess it's a cat. Um, a tabby, which is a type of cat. A hamper. I don't know what a hamper is. An Egyptian cat and a refrigerator. <laughs> it is not a refrigerator, but I mean it has cats, so I'll give it to them. And now we're going to do our last final image, image four. So let's see for image four, which is a sandwich. No, it's a baby cat. So baby cat, let's see how much. Uh, okay, it's coming up the error again, but it doesn't matter. Egyptian cat is 65%. Um, tabby, which is a cat, 17%. And lynx is 0.4%. And tiger cat, 0.01%. Um, and lens cap <laughs> lens cap is 0.004 percent so it's pretty accurate there's no baby cat though so it's not it there's no kitten but i mean it's good enough um and let's try image five i think this one's a sandwich yes it is um not a sandwich pieces of bread um so let's see how much it is french loaf is 37 percent bath towel is 33 percent wool is 30 no, the 3.8% and pan pipe is 1.7% while ice cream is 1.6%. Um, so it's pretty inaccurate, uh, except for French loaf, I guess. And all of these rest are not accurate. So let's try our last image, image 6. Oh, I don't think we have an image 6. Yeah, we... Oh, it's image... What? Image 0 0.016, 0 0.016, okay. So we're going to go to like so, and now we're going to run. So it's a car. Um, it should, it should get a car, right? So limousine is 26%. Sports car is 23%. Beach wagon is 10%. Car wheel is... 10% and convertible is 40 um 4.1%. So, I guess this is pretty accurate for the car. Um so yeah, that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye.